So right now you're listening to a studio microphone. No processing, no editing. If I put this away, and right now you're listening to the microphone in the camera, which is eight feet away. Let's get this footage inside of Premiere Pro and press this amazing brand new magical button. Now tell me how the audio sounds on its own. We are still on the camera's microphone, which is about eight feet away. And let me know how it handles the echo. Let me know how it handles the resonant frequencies and other things. But how does it work with echoey situations like this? Or what if the AC is turned all the way up? In this video, we are going to test it all. And let's do a practical test of all of these real world situations. Before we get to it, thanks to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring this video. There are places we can get music, but finding the perfect track is where Epidemic Sound really shines. You can also just drag and drop your video and the sound match feature automatically suggests music based on your video. How cool is that? With so many high quality music tracks and even more sound effects, you never have to worry about copyright strikes or takedowns. It's all unlimited. Download as much as you want, use as much as you want for a fixed monthly fee. My favorite feature is that you can even download separate stems of music tracks. For this once in a year exclusive offer for Piximperfect viewers, click the link in description to get a two month. Yes, you heard that right. You can try Epidemic Sound for two months absolutely for free. Use as much as you want experiment and try as much as you want get all of it so make sure you make the most of this excellent opportunity the discount is only valid for the personal plan and available for five days only so make sure you just just try it just sign up and try it back to the video the biggest question is where do you get this feature first of all open your creative cloud desktop app inside of that go to apps and then scroll down and here you'll find beta apps click on it and install premiere pro beta if it's not already installed, it will show up right here. Just click on install next to it. Now do keep in mind, it's absolutely different from the regular Premiere Pro app, and you won't find this feature in the regular Premiere Pro as of now. Now, how do we apply it in Premiere Pro beta? Right here, we have a sample clip. Let's take a listen. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect, and this, my friend, is a sample recording. Now this sample recording is directly from the camera's microphone. So let us apply the enhance speech on it. Make sure you are on Premiere Pro Beta right here, not the regular version. Now with the clip selected, you can go to Essential Sounds Panel. You can directly open it by going to Window and then going to Essential Sound. You can also work on the Sound Workspace. So right here at the top, if you cannot see the Sound Workspace, click right here and you can go to Audio. So you can go to the Audio Workspace. Inside of that, you can tag this as a dialog because that's what it is. So with this clip selected, you can click on dialog. That's how it's tagged. And then click on enhance. But before we do, let's take a listen again. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and this, my friend, is a sample recording. Now let's click on enhance. Now let's take a listen. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and this, my friend, is a sample recording. There are parts of the audio that are being cut off trying to improve it. That is why we have a mix amount. So if the mix amount is all the way to 10, what you will only hear is the processed audio. Hi there, this is Unmesh from Piximperfect and this, my friend, is a sample recording. Whatever I'm speaking right now doesn't have a lot of information to it. This is just for audio samples. Little bits of the audio are being absolutely cut off and making it absolutely unnatural. However, if the mix amount is to zero, right now you will hear the original audio. Today I'm going to share with you how to use curves in Photoshop. And you have to find a sweet spot where it is natural as well. So let's keep it at about five point something or six. Let's see how it is now. Just make clear icon and then choose curves. Do keep in mind that the right hand side is representing the bright areas and the left hand side is representing the dark area. I'm going to turn off and on the enhance so you can test it. Do keep in mind that the right hand side is representing the bright areas and the left hand side is representing the dark areas. So if you want to make the bright areas brighter, just create a point on the right hand side and drag it up. But the dark areas are also getting brighter as well. So how do we anchor that? So there you go. But that is just one small part of this. There's so much to it. So right now, as you can see, there's a fan in the background and my face is oddly shaped, but that's okay. And you're listening to the audio directly from my phone. Let me know how it sounds. And now I'm going to turn on Premiere Pro's enhanced speech. Does it improve the audio? Does it not improve the audio? Let me know. Is it making it worse? Now, do keep in mind, I've turned the mix all the way up. Now I'm going to turn down the mix a little bit to keep it a bit more natural. It will happen at the cost of having a little bit of the echo and a little bit of the fan noise. So let me know how the audio sounds right now. You be the judge, you let me know. 
Now this is going to be a little more practical real world test. So I'm gonna turn the AC all the way up to the highest fan settings possible. Do keep in mind that the room is treated the audio is going directly into this microphone and I'm guessing you would be using some kind of microphone and as you can see, the fan is super loud. So I'm gonna turn on and off Premiere Pro's enhanced speech just to make you hear the difference between the processed audio and the non-processed audio. Now while we are at it, why not do a test outdoors? As you can see, there's construction noise going all around. Somebody's running a motor, somebody's running some hammer, somebody's running some kind of generator. There's just noise and chaos all around. So I'm gonna stay silent for a while so that you can hear what's going on in the background. So this is how the regular raw audio sounds. So I'm gonna turn on Premiere Pro's enhanced speech. I'm gonna keep turning it off and on just so that you have an idea of how that is processing. Does it take away all these background noise? And let me know how it handles random bursts of noises. So as you can see, there's a loud motorbike just went through maybe or some other thing but it was very loud also you need to look out for how is it treating the voice does it make it better does it make it sound like i'm recording on a studio microphone so let me know what your thoughts are so this is all outdoors with a lot of noise i call this room the echo chamber and as you can hear there's a lot of echo there's also a pressure cooker going off in the background so i'm going to turn on premiere pros enhanced speech and I'm very, very doubtful whether this will be processed or not. This is how it sounds with the camera that far away and the audio going directly to my phone's microphone. Do you know what? There's a lot of processing that we can do outside of Premiere Pro in Audition that can improve this audio a hell lot. And what will improve the audio even more is having a microphone right next to you. The closer the microphone you have to the audio source, the cleaner the audio will be and lesser the background noise will be. So as you saw, Premiere Pro's enhanced speech is not perfect, but it definitely is a step in the right direction. In many scenarios, it works, and in many scenarios, it doesn't work, as good as we want it to work. But there's always the mix slider, which helps you bring back a little bit of the naturality at the cost of bringing also back some kind of echo or noise as well that you were trying to remove in the first place. The biggest problem with enhanced speech is that it takes away little bits and pieces of the audio, making it sound absolutely unnatural and also can sometimes change a few words, change how they sound. So let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think. And at any point in time, if you want to mask out a little bit of the background noise and make your videos more interesting, you can always add a background music. And for it, there's no other better place than Epidemic Sound. Do check it out. Click the link in description to get a two full months of free trial with Epidemic Sound. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss any other future tips, tricks, or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.